<clears throat> We're going there. <laughs> hey everyone, I am back. Um, before I get started, I do want to let you know I put up a brand new home video update on a couple weeks ago. So I hope you guys uh, take a look at that when you can. And there will be another one soon after the holidays. Show you all of the stuff I've done for Christmas. But uh, today we're doing another episode of The Complete Home Media History Of. And today we're going to be doing one based off, yep, The Lion King. Originally released as Disney's 32nd animated feature back in 1994, still is one of the most popular movies of our time. Um, still is the highest grossing hand-drawn animated film in history. Um, not to mention... It's one of Disney's biggest franchises. It has two directed video sequels, a photorealistic computer animation remake that isn't even that good. There was um, the one of Puma and the Lion Guard, along with the many merchandise and everything. It, it's still big. Now, as you can see here, this is the original soundtrack. This initially came out back in April of 1994. I believe the original release of the film was in June. Let me check my ranks. Yeah, June. So this basically came out, now I'm calling that, like, April, let's see, May, like, two months before the original movie released. But, you know, when the movie came out, critically acclaimed, made too much money, I dare say. <laughs> Nowadays, with its $968 million in the banks, it still is the highest grossing hand-drawn animated film in history. You you gotta give Disney credit for making one hell of a film. It makes sense. Um, wonderful and endearing characters. Some of the most well-known songs, and one of the best um orchestrated music by Hans Zimmer. Um, and of course, like I said, the songs by Elton John and Tim Rice. Um, wonderful, a wonderful story. A powerful message for young and old. Um, you you just couldn't go wrong with it. The Lion King is still today is just as wonderful to watch as it was nearly, like, 30 years ago. But, of course, as The Lion King became a hit, a lot of people wanted to own it. So, in 1994, later on, around October, Disney would launch the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection, and the first title to be a part of it was Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And before the movie would begin, they had an introduction by Walt's nephew, Roy E. Disney, and a... He said, and I quote, in 1995, the Lion, the Lion King would become the next set of movies to be released on home video. And so, on that particular day, March 3rd, 1995, The Lion King was released onto VHS and Laserdisc. And this is, this along with Titanic is, oi, how do I say this? <clears throat> This and Titanic are the best-selling VHSs in history. Hell, on its first day, 4.5 million were sold. And then by the end of its uh, release, you know, put back in moratorium by 1997, um, the movie would sold over 32 million units. And it would give Disney over $500 million in uh, sales revenues. And 23 million were shipped overseas to international markets. Um... By August 1997, it would sell over 55 million video copies, making it the best-selling home video title of all time. And of course, as I said before, this was included as part of the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection. And, you know, the title makes sense in this case. It's a masterpiece. Of course, it has the classic artwork of Simba being raised by Rafiki. Being, uh, I mean, of course, with his mother and father, Mufasa and Sarabi. On the bottom there, Scar, pretty much brooding with jealousy. I'd probably say he was down there for the entire opening of a Circle of Life number, <laughs> considering. Of course, the Masterpiece Collection header, and on the bottom there, there's Adult Simba. And on the back, it says here, The Greatest Wonder of All. Raised for the Los Angeles Times. Of course, the classic artwork there is Timon, Pumbaa, and Simba. Overall, I love the overall format of the artwork here. And seriously, anywhere you would go, any thrift store you would go, you'll find this tape everywhere. Like I said, over 
30 million were sold in America. Of course, it has the label, typical Disney silk screen label at the time. Of course, you know this contains the sneak peek trailer or the teaser trailer for Pocahontas, printed February 28th, 1995. Um. But yeah, this is the VHS of The Lion King. The one VHS almost every v Disney VHS collector has. This is the one that w I would say it's the one that you should own if you are becoming one. Considering, you know, it's one of the most well-known movies from Disney. It's their best-selling movie on, you know, on the format. You know, it makes sense. I got mine initially brand new off eBay. And then I found another one brand new to replace the old one. I believe I did an unboxing video in that. I, actually, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. But I know I think I showed it off. That was years ago, though. But yeah, that's the original video release of The Lion King. It's a pretty much a landmark in home video history. But yeah, in 1997, it went into moratorium. <clears throat> but uh, in 2002, The Lion King got re-released into theaters in IMAX, and it included a brand new animated sequence called The Morning Report. It was... Initially, a deleted song, but they would have put it back in for this IMAX reissue. But, um, in October 7th, 2003, the movie was released on VHS again, and for the first time, on Disney DVD, as part of the Platinum Edition, the third Platinum Edition in the series, following Snow White and the Seven Dwarves and Beauty and the Beast. This was released October 7th, 2003. Um, this disc contains... Not only the original cut, but also the IMAX cut of the Morning Reports number. Um, and of course, it is a two-disc set, but this is also notable, if you look at the back here. This is one of Disney's first DVDs to have, the Disney Enhanced Home Theater Mix. Basically, if you have a home theater system, you're pretty much all set to go. <laughs> you have the complete home video or home theater experience. I tried this once with a friend as he has a home theater system in his living room. I popped in this copy of the lion king and my god when we got into the stampede sequence we were on the edge of our seats the overall just amount of environmental like surround sound and the use of bass is absolutely impressive but i also want to say i adore the cover i love the overall use of warmer colors to accentuate the style it, it, it looks wonderful now as for the vhs version um i am not sure how that looks. I mean, I know what the cover looks like. It does contain the Morning Report song, and I believe it has a new music video in it as well at the end of the movie, but I don't own it yet. I'm hoping I'm getting it soon. As you see on the back here, the king of animated films, the king of DVD. And I will agree on that. This is a pretty big set. I dare say a little too a bit for his purchase when it comes to the second disc, because um, all the bonus features are spread out in separate um pods like um music stage animation stage and a lot of them are copied over in each pod like well, in general the the set is still wonderful mine oh yeah um, the velcro um there's a little snap here velcro you can just open it up more to see than has ever been seen more to do that has never been done Basically talking about a couple of the stuff you'll find on the set. This is only one of a few Disney DVDs I have fully complete. It's this Toy Story 2, the two disc set, the Clown Edition of Aladdin. Uh, let me see. I say Snow White, but without the slip cover. But anyway, here we got the discs, full color artwork. As it was as known for the time. Here's disc two. Of course, there's the insert. Um, back then, they, they were actually books. And of course, it goes through all the stuff you'll know about this release. Talking about the two versions, the whole theater mix, um, the restoration they've done for The Lion King. Um, what's also notable about this release and going on forward is that they reanimated the crocodiles. In the I just came with the king number. You can only find our original in little scene in the VHS version. Um, from this release onwards, they had a they fully reanimated it, and that version has been shown ever since. Of 
course, talks about the second disc. The games are on here as well as the aspect ratio. And the bonus feature index. As you can see, a bunch of the same bonus features are on different features here. So, of course, on the back, it talks about the Platinum Editions. Look for the next release of this Platinum Edition series, Aladdin, October 2004. And they weren't lying on that part. <laughs> Came with this savings book, too. Big deal. Great savings inside. Of course, you flip it over. has a little sneak peek at the Lion King 1.5. Which I believe came out like a few months after the Platinum Edition The Lion King. I think it was February 2004. That was a two disc set as well, even if there wasn't much on here. Of course, Lion King products, The Lion King musical. Actually, speaking of the musical, I do have the soundtrack <laughs> to the musical. Um, directed by Julie Taymor. It's one of the most successful musicals out there. Really happy to have this either way, even though I never seen the musical. Would have been nice if it gave it a home video release, kind of like that VHS of Cats. But yeah, it's just a savings book. Does have, I think it's on here, let me check. That home theater sweepstakes. Ah, here it is. $50 mail-in rebate. I don't know, Pioneer Theater System. And on the back here, like I said, basically, uh, Mullen's, uh, diary. Premiering on Disney DVD and video, yep, February 13th. Okay. Basically, the life times of Timon and Pumbaa when they first met. Pretty neat, though. The Lion King sweepstakes. Enter a chance to win Walt Disney World. Second prize is what it won a Pioneer Home Theater System and a plasma screen. That was back when plasma screens were starting to get in. I mean, CRTs are still around, but I, feel like, I believe CRTs kind of got phased out by, I say, 2011, when HD was pretty much the norm. Oh, yeah, I also have this. This was included with my copy of Return to Witch Mountain as part of the family film collection. An ad for The Lion King on VHS. It has an ad for The Angels of the Outfield, too, which is neat. But yeah, as for how well this sold, um, there was also a box set that came with all three films. This, um, Simba's Pride, and One and a Half. Um, the DVD releases of all three sold a total of 11.9 million and uh, would give Disney 220 million in revenues. So, they would later go back into the vault. In December of 2004, so a whole month, whole year. But then in 2011, The Lion King was re-released again. This time, converted into Disney Digital 3D. And not long after that release, on October 4th, 2011, the movie, oh my God, was re-released. This time on Blu-ray, as part of the Diamond Edition. And this is also one of the reasons I wanted to make this video. When I got on Blu-ray, so good for me. What you're seeing here is the DVD size um, combo pack. There is a standard Blu-ray combo pack that came with the Blu-ray and DVD. There is the Ultimate Collector's Edition that came with the 3D Blu-ray. That was around the time when 3D Blu-rays were starting to kick in. This here um, is the DVD plus Blu-ray DVD size package, but either way, I'm still very happy at owning this. Um, The Diamond Edition here, it topped the Blu-ray charts with over 1.5 million sold. Um, it would sold 3.83 million Blu-ray units. Um, I believe it led to over 100 million income. Um, this would also be released. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Later on in 2017, it would be a part of the signature collection, and then in 2018, it was would be released on 4K Ultra. So. And of course, now it's on Disney+. Plus. But yeah, this is a wonderful set. Um, the one thing I do not like with this set is that it does contain the classic bonus feature from the Platinum Edition, but it's powered by BD Live, and that's long been dead. So, unless you're lucky enough to own, you know, the Platinum Edition. I mean, for what it has here, not just the movie, it is really good, I'm not going to lie. Especially um, these two in general. 
A Lion King and Memoir by Don Hahn and Pride of the Lion King. Uh, very nicely done behind the scenes. And in Pride of the Lion King, it's kind of a, a reunion with the animators, the producers. Um, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. But like I said, it's still a wonderful set. And the, the print they use with this is stunning. This is a wonderful looking version. I'm not sure about the 4K version, though. It does contain Disney's high definition sound mix, too, so you got your options. Anyway, here is the Blu ray. Typical, as it was a post, uh, pre 2012 release, just contains artwork. Even the DVD is nice. Even if this is a uh, DVD size package, it still comes with the Blu ray guide, and of course, it comes with a Disney Movie Rewards promo. Experience more of Disney's animated epic adventure than ever before. Go behind the scenes about exclusive stories about the making of the masterpiece. Of course, the navigational overview. Even has one for the DVD, which is nice. And on the back, it contains some upcoming releases of Lady and the Tramp and Cinderella. Of course, I own Cinderella. Hoping I can find Lady and the Tramp soon. But yeah, this is still a wonderful version of it. And there you have it. Those are the original home video releases of The Lion King. Um, of course, I highly recommend this movie to anyone. It's still a masterpiece, even to this very day. Um, of course, I do recommend you get it on Blu-ray or, of course, go to Disney+. Plus. The DVD versions are pretty good, too. The signature edition DVD, so there's nothing on it. Hell, even on this DVD from 2011 came with a Lion King a memoir. At least we get a credit for that. But either way, if, if you are out to get the Lion King on a budget, the VHS could work fine. I mean, this is the only version that contains the original print, you know, out years and all. In the Lion King uh, live mission here, it's still a wonderful version to own. And it's somewhat um, easy to find if you go to a thrift store. Of course, that's where I got mine. In uh, hell, you can actually find the soundtrack um, pretty easily. I, I was even shocked to find it in for myself. I don't know so much when it comes to the musical, but either way, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, hope you like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and hope you'll take a look at my social media if you're interested. Until then, um, hope you guys have happy holidays. We'll see you soon.